Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's video, I'm going to be reviewing the Cadillac CT4V. Before we get into this video, I'm going to give a huge shout out and thank you to the Jerry Sander Cadillac here in Salt Lake City, Utah, for giving me some time with this car. I'm going to include a link to their website in the description down below so you can check out what they have currently. And then, on a side note, if you want to save time and money the next time you purchase a car, link to my car buying guide in the description down below. Let's get into it. Under the hood, we have a turbocharged 2.7 liter four cylinder that goes through a 10 speed automatic transmission. Fuel economy is 20 around town and then 28 on the highway with power outputs being 325 horsepower and then 380 pound feet of torque. Gotta love the V there on the hood. And then also down below, it says 20 years. That's pretty cool. Now, before we move forward with this review, I do wanna mention if you wanna see more videos just like this, then I recommend you subscribe because I post content every single day. So starting with the hood, you guys can see here with the distinctive lines that go across. I think that looks really sharp. And then I like this here on the side. I've always been a fan of that with the Cadillacs with the daytime running light. And then you guys can see with the headlight design, notice how the grill's all blacked out. Same thing with the trim at the bottom. And putting it all together, I think Cadillac does a really good job with front end design on their cars. Now around the side here, our tire wheel setup is 235, 40, 18 in the front and over on the rear. And you guys can see with the wheels, they're like a satin metallic gray. I think that looks really sharp. And we have the red V brake caliper. Here's kind of a closer look at that. And I like the kind of fender there. Got a V logo on the side. And then notice how the side skirt's blacked out. Same thing with the window trim. And then here's your full side view with the CT4 V. Now take a look at the key fob. We have our lock and unlock function. We also have a remote start, the opening here for the trunk and then the V logo there on the back. And popping into the back, you guys can see we've got quite a bit of storage space here in the rear. Even though the CT4 is the smaller sedan, still seems pretty practical. When you're all done, just plop. Got this body painted spoiler here and then I love the taillight design, how it kind of arcs down. You can see the V logo, CT4 there on the other side. And then look how aggressive those exhaust tips look. And putting it all together, let me know you guys think about the looks here with the CT4V. Now take a look at the door panel here in the rear, you guys can see with the soft touch here with the stitching that goes across. And then I like how it's perforated down below, you can see more of the padding and stitching here. And then I love the look of the handle. And then here are the seats, as you can see more of that nice stitching and look at the red seat belt, that pops. Now the legroom in the back of the CT4 is a little bit more cramped, it's a little storage pocket. Got some vents here in the back with a 12 volt and then headroom. It's pretty good. Now take a look at the front door panel. You guys can see again, soft touch here. And look at the stitching right there. And then again, the perforated trim down below with more of the padding. And like how the trim extends across to the handle. Got our memory seat function here, blind spot honoring with the mirrors. And then the windows are automatic for the front. And then really nice trim here with the seat and again got another red seat belt which kind of adds the fun power adjustments on the side v logo down below and the nice looking pedals here and then you do have the controls here for the heads up display Now taking a look at the steering wheel, you guys can see soft touch all around. We do have paddle shifters there on the back for the 10 speed. And then we also have practical controls in the front, like your volume controls, voice command controls, cruise control, and you got the V button there on the steering wheel too. And then your regular stocks here on the back. And here's a quick look at the gauge class. You can see fully digital, but the fun part of course is the different drive modes. Notice that it'll give a little animation depending on what drive mode you pop it into. I think the uh, sport on the track is pretty fun. But yeah, I like, I like the kind of like little turn animation. I don't know, I think that adds to the flare. And then in reverse, we do have a backup camera with trajectory lines that turn with the steering wheel. Resolution with it's pretty good. And then as for the rest of the infotainment system itself, um, response time with the screen is really good. It's quick to respond, as you can see. Has Apple CarPlay, has Android Auto as well. And we do have nice trim here on the dash. You can see the stitching and everything. And look at the trim down below. And then pretty good storage here in the glove box. We've got our controls here for the dual zone climate. And we do have heated seats as well, parking sensors, your lane departure. And you guys can see wireless phone charging pad. Shifter for that 10 speed automatic transmission. And then we have all of our controls here for the infotainment system. If you don't want to use the touchscreen, carbon fiber trim with the cup holders, which is nice. And then your auto stop start, you can see auto hold, stability control, and then your drive mode select. Decent storage here in the 
center console. It's a nice padding on top. And then at the very top, you guys can see, quick look at the mirror, controls here for the center, just a regular center here in the CT4V. Now here's a window sticker for the CT4V series. Um, you guys can see the base MSRP there, 47,000. Total MSRP after all options, 56,855. And let's see how it drives. Let's talk about the visibility before we set off. Here's the visibility over the hood, both the mirrors, throughout the rest of the rear, and let us set off in the CT4V. Fun, fun drive. Uh, and I've got some uh, open onions when it comes to this compared to some of the competition, like the BMW M340i. So I think you guys might like some of that, but let's uh, first set off. Also, Cadillac, there's some uh, cloth here on the side of the seat on the center portion. I know that most people won't notice it, but I will. Why would we have cloth on the side of the seat in a V car? The other side is obviously still leather. It's just um, <laughs> the side that people normally won't notice. But anyways, aside from uh, General Motors cost cutting, Let's see how this drives. Very smooth so far. I like uh, how much torque this engine has. It's just like in your face with the torque. Transmission's smooth too. Yeah, really comfortable. It has a very solid feel that you don't necessarily get in the BMW or even like, you know, Audi S4, which might also kind of compete against this. It just has a more solid and substantial feel. See if that leads to worse handling though, right? Because it could, you know, the extra weight and everything. Yeah, the torque with this is so good. I like how this drives. It's, it actually, um, I wouldn't call it like super lightweight by any means. I mean, it is a luxury sedan at the end of the day. But it's it's got a pretty fun feel to it. Pop into the sport mode. The gauge cluster doesn't know what to do because I went through too many different drive modes. It's like, ah, what drive mode do I pick? But yeah, turning's pretty, I mean, it's pretty good. Well, we are going to see what this CT4V is all about. Again, we are in the sport mode. Just gonna leave it in automatic. <laughs> wow. It's got some pep in its step. I mean, it's it's got enough pep in its step to uh, make the window sticker fly off the dash. So it's got that going for it. Interesting, interesting powertrain. I feel like this powertrain is all about low end torque more so than anything else. So let's just sum things up here with the CT4V. Uh, so first off, I love the looks of this. I think this is beautiful on the outside, and I really like how this drives. It's sporty, but then it's also comfortable. I love the steering. The steering's got like a nice weight to it. This engine's just, it's super torquey. It's all about torque. It just drives really well. Um, and the value with this compared to, especially BMW, I mean, an M340i, it's like over $60,000, really good value. I will say I do still prefer BMW's B58 inline six to this particular powertrain but big butt big big butt i would rather buy this over the bmw just because of the price difference like you're saving so much money that like i'm like yeah you know even though i like that powertrain a little bit more i'll uh keep the extra 10 plus thousand dollars in the bank and have a still really fun powertrain just not quite the b58 let me know your thoughts